Welcome back to JNS Daily Drives, everyone. My name is Jacob, and today we're going to be taking a look at this 2013 Fiat 500 Abarth. In today's video, we're going to go over the exterior as well as the interior, talk a little bit about what's powering this car, and see what it's like to drive. Let's get started. So I want to start with the front end of the Fiat 500 Abarth where things are a little bit more aggressive than the standard Fiat 500. We have the Abarth badge here. We have a nice little splitter here to help with aerodynamics. We have two fog lights located down below that aren't on the regular Fiat 500. Now let's go ahead and we'll move to the side where we can talk a little bit more about this car's design. Now that we're on the side, we can begin to look at the design of the car. As you can see, it is very tiny. I'm six foot two and it comes right to my chest. It's absolutely crazy. We have a Barth badges located there. We have a nice insignia on the side stripe there, which is really cool. These wheels are 16 inch wheels, but I think they look pretty good considering this car is so small, it fits really well with it. The overall design of the side of the car isn't the best looking car in the world, but adding some of these nice design touches make it look absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead, we'll take a look at the rear and see what the space is like back there. Now we move on to the rear of the car where we can talk a little bit about the design back here. We have a very aggressive splitter down below here and as you can hear the car idling, it is pretty loud. We'll get to the exhaust in just a moment. But let's go ahead, let's take a look at the trunk and see how much space there is back there. Pop it open and as you can see, the it is very, very tight back here. I'm only able to fit my drone case and a backpack. It's not huge, but it gets the job done. The seats do fold down to help with extra cargo. So located right here is with the seats folded for four people, two adults, two kids, and then right here is with the seats folded down. Now that we've talked about the exterior, we can go ahead and talk about what's powering this car. Now that's a four cylinder turbocharged engine producing 160 horsepower and 170 pound feet of torque. Let's take a look at it, shall we? Now here it is, the four cylinder turbo engine. I like that it has a red engine cover. It looks mean, it's nice and compact, and it's very efficient. Let's go ahead and see how it sounds. Now that we've heard how the engine and the exhaust sounds, there's nothing left to do but go for a drive. Before we go on with the rest of this review, I have to say a massive thank you to Norm and the rest of the team over at International Motor Cars. Like I said in my last video, they've been providing cars for these videos for a while now and they just keep getting better and better. This car is so much fun. I've absolutely enjoyed the crap out of driving this car. So special shout out to them. Linked in the description below will be their website along with the link to this exact car which is for sale right now. You should go buy it if you, you know, if you're watching this video, go buy this car, this exact one. Do it right now. If not, they'll help you find your next car. So, so now that we're inside and we're driving the Fiat 500 Abarth of the model year 2013, we can begin to talk a little bit more about that engine and the transmission that it's made it to. Now, like I said, that's an inline four cylinder engine, turbocharged, that's producing 160 horsepower and 170 pound feet of torque. That's all made it to this five speed manual transmission, which I think makes this car way more fun. Again, it's a hot hatch. It's designed to be fun. It's designed to be driver engaged. And that's what this car does incredibly well. This engine, Turbo 
takes a second to spool up, but it feels so cool when you're doing it because that power just comes on and it's like, wow, it feels absolutely amazing. Coupled with that exhaust, this car is an absolute blast to drive. So in terms of what it's like to drive, it's very, very easy. Like I said, the transmission's really easy to use. The steering is really nice and tight. You can kind of pinpoint exactly where you want the car to go. And because this car is so, so small, it makes driving around the city and town really, really easy. Because it's front wheel drive, no, it's not gonna handle as well as a lot of cars. Because it's so small, having front wheel drive isn't really that big of a deal. It makes sure that you're gonna have fun, but you're gonna be safe at the same time. Rear wheel drive, I feel like it'd kick out a little bit too much, but because this is front wheel drive, it feels absolutely perfect. So we're gonna come up to these corners now and see how this car handles. Now, this car is on summer tires and it's a little bit slippery out, so I'm not gonna go full send around these corners, but I'll give you guys a good idea of how this car handles. still lower my seat just a little bit as well to give me more headroom 
legroom is good. I have a bunch of space to move my seat back so that a much taller person than myself could fit in here as well. Rear seats are really tight. You'd have to be really tiny to fit back there. Kids could fit back there, but a full grown adult, I don't know, it's pretty tight back there. I wanna talk a little bit about the demographic that this car fits into. So if you're somebody who's looking for even a first car and your budget's around $15,000, maybe a little bit less, this car is perfect. Because of the efficiency, because of the fun factor, this car is unbeatable for the price that it is. If you're looking for something that isn't as fun and even more efficient, that has more space, this might not be the car for you. But if you want it to be fun, and a lot of people want their first car to be a little bit fun at least, you know, fun, practical, and efficient, this is a perfect car for you. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on this 2013 Fiat 500 Abarth. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you stay up to date to our videos. We got a lot of cool stuff coming very, very soon. And if you didn't notice, I said on my YouTube and Instagram, I'm gonna start posting twice a week, every Tuesday and every Thursday. So make sure you tune in for those videos. We'll see you next time.